Hello friends, this is my last Wednesday devotional. It's hard to believe that I have been in this interim position for over three years now. And these have been good years. I've gotten to know so many of you, uh, some through visits in the hospital, visits in your home. And over the last year with COVID, I've made many phone calls and gotten to know you. I want to thank you for sharing your lives with me. Yet I have been blessed by it. My motto for this next chapter of my life is that I don't want to retire, but rather I want to refire. I am looking and longing for a new movement of the Holy Spirit in my life. I've planned for some fun things to do, um, like woodworking. I haven't been in my shop for a very, very long time. I want to do more biking and just get out and enjoy the outdoors. But the thing that I'm most excited about is sharing my story. In recent years, I've dreamed of becoming a speaker. Not, not really a preacher, but rather a speaker. And, uh, and that'll be one of my top priorities in the next couple of months. I have an invitation that I have to share my story this fall in a church in Ohio. And so I want to begin to think about that. What is the best way to share my story and what God has done in my life through this tough time? Second Corinthians 5 verse 7 says, We walk by faith and not by sight. As I have walked through what we call the incident, this verse has really taken on a deeper meaning. There were many, many days when I could not even see one day ahead. The pain of all that happened was so deep that I felt that I couldn't get up and do another day. But I did, because God gave me strength to do so, and I knew that he would never fail me, that he would always be there for me. And I learned what it means to walk by faith and not by sight and on a whole other level. So I encourage you to do the same when everything seems dark and way, way, way too hard. Lean hard into God and learn what it means to walk by faith and not by sight in a new way. God is always with you. So this today is not as much as a farewell, no, as a more of a see you later, because I will still be around. I don't have any plans right now for moving, um, but I'm going to remain in Goshen and, and see where God leads. And I'm just excited what the future has and where God will lead me next. So thanks for allowing me to be part of your lives.